What up guys, it's The Fighting Therapist here and for today's video I got you guys another resistance training workout for you guys to actually utilize and make a program for yourself for the weeks to come so you can progressively get stronger and build more muscle and get swole as fuck. Before we jump into the, ooh, what just happened there? Before we jump into the video, guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, give this video a like, so we can keep on growing together. Now, the principle of the workout is pretty simple and you guys can switch it up throughout the week. I'm gonna give you a couple of guidelines that I want you to follow and then you guys can either use this workout or switch it to your own thing. You do whatever you want, you know? Just follow the guidelines and then make your own stuff. Principle is you guys are gonna do a upper body push, an upper body pull, a lower body push, a lower body pull, and then a core exercise. Uh, it could be anything. It could be from like ab rollout, side plank, leg raise, corkscrew, pretty much whatever you want. And then you guys are gonna do that for three times a week. You guys are gonna play with a set range of, I'd say about four to five sets. That's gonna give you just a little bit more than a minimum effective volume, which is pretty much the minimum amount you need to maintain or gain muscle mass. So we're just gonna go a little bit higher than that. So roughly at a four to five set range, three times a week is gonna put you in that 12 to 15 sets per muscle group per week, which is exactly where we wanna be. When it comes to the rep ranges, on each one of those days, you guys are gonna switch the rep range. When it comes to exercises, they're gonna be very specific on what you can do on a Monday, which is pretty much gonna be a eight to 10 rep range of an exercise. So if you know you can do 25 push-ups, that's not a good exercise to do for your upper body push, right? On Wednesday, you guys are gonna pick an exercise that's gonna put you in between a 15 to 20 rep range. And then on a Friday, you guys are gonna pick something that's gonna give you 25 plus. So this is where all those other nerds out there wants to do some blood flow restriction, wants to do some myo drop sets. It's where you're performing an exercise at a 30 RM. So you're pretty much doing, let's say, bicep curls with uh, whatever weights you guys can do, like 25 to 30 reps with. You're gonna take three deep breaths. You feel like you could go and you're gonna go again. Or it's pretty much just taking like 10 to 15 second breaks in between each set, which is causing more of that metabolic stress and you're really gonna feel that burn. And we're really trying to go to failure towards the end of the week. So drop sets, myo reps, things like that. That's what you guys wanna put towards the end of the week. This is gonna save you from any type of injury, right? Because if we did that on a Monday and then did a heavy eight, <coughs> oh, I'm fucking dying. So if we did anything between like eight to 10 reps on a Wednesday, we might be causing some injury due to the high volume and not recovering as much to then do such a heavy load on a Wednesday. So I like to space them out like that. It's better, it's safer that way. Now for exercises, guys, let's say you have absolutely no weight. In the video, I use a kettlebell and sometimes I use bands. If you have none of that, that is okay make an exercising challenging. I have a whole bunch of videos that are gonna come out with that, but let's give an example for a push-up. If you can do 15 to 20 push-ups, the way that we can make it harder on the Monday session to only be able to do eight to 10 is maybe doing some push-ups where we're sliding out. They're called archer push-ups, right? I'm pretty, that's a lot harder. Maybe we switch, we switch it to claps. Maybe those beasts out there, we do one arm. Maybe we do slides with two arms. Maybe we switch the angle a little bit and we go more into like a handstand on the wall. We challenge that exercise to be able to be in the rep range that we need that's gonna give us the stimulus that we want. So the first exercise that I did, I pretty much mixed my lower body push and pull together in one exercise and I kept that with a snatch to reverse lunge. Now, it was a great exercise to use because I was able to work on power and I was also able to work on my posterior chain in the reverse lunge and it's sport specific to me because in fighting, that's the stance that I'm in. So to, to develop power to come up and then to step back and to come back forward, that's exactly what I want. So that's the exercise I did. I did it for about eight to 10 reps on each side. Then right after we finished that exercise, you guys are gonna go into your upper body pull, right? So I kind of switched it around and there's no rules. You guys do whatever you want. You switch it up, do whatever you want. Then I went to upper body pull. Now I've been doing pulls from um, like uh, lat pull downs lately. I've been doing some rows from the bottom and I've been doing some lat pull downs. And whenever I'm here at my boy's house, I'm doing pull ups on a bar. So what I haven't been doing enough of is a horizontal pull. 
pretty much. So what I tried to do with this one is I sit down, I double gripped the band to make it more resistance, and I did a one arm pull. That way I'm able to focus more on the contraction of the lat, I'm really able to get that squeeze, and it was great, I was only able to do about nine to 10 reps, which was perfect. So I did that on both sides, having my feet up, I'm long as shit, so having that resistance was perfect. After that, for my upper body exercise, I wanted to focus more on my upper chest, so I started doing some upper body flies. Again, the exercise doesn't matter. It was a goal for me because lately, in the past weeks, I've been doing a lot of pushing and I haven't been doing a lot of horizontal adduction, so I wanted to split that up and do more of that so I'm really able to target the chest and isolate it specifically. Then for core, a great exercise I want to challenge was a core getup. Now, the kettlebell itself is 24 kilos, so you're looking at roughly like 52 pounds, so it was a great exercise. It challenged the core, it challenged the stability, and it also challenged me to go eccentrically down and keep that core strong. So the whole workout was very specific, and it was really great just for me. But like I said, you guys can pretty much change it to whatever you want. This, the breakdown of the workout is really easy. You guys are doing your five exercises three times a week. Now you're like, oh, sack. What about the biceps? What about the triceps? What about the lat delts? What about calves? Well, the great thing about this is that when you do that workout, you're pretty much putting the main lifts in compound exercises to target multitude of muscles in one exercise. And what's great about lockdown is that this circuit only took me about 30 to 40 minutes, which means later on in the day, I was able to do isolation work, whether it be prehab, rehab, or just working on that one muscle group. And that's what I like to do, because being home and just doing a two hour session makes absolutely no sense, because then the rest of the day, I'm gonna be sitting on my ass doing absolutely nothing. So, or working on my laptop, but you guys know, Netflix, chill, you know. And then we're also like watching movies, we're also playing video games. So I like to move more throughout the day. So I like to do a workout, then I like to go like on a bike ride, a walk with my girlfriend, something like that. And then later on in the day, I like to do my rehab, my mobility, and then isolation work. Later on in the day, you're not fatigued, you're not tired. This workout didn't completely exhaust you. Your muscles feel worked, they feel tired. That's what we want, we got the stimulus. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna do those lat raises, bicep curls, hammer curls, tricep extension, we're gonna do dips on the countertop at the corner right there, right, or on two chairs. You guys are gonna mix it up and be able to target those other muscles, those isolation muscles that you want. Simple plan, super easy, follow the program, progressively overloaded, challenge the reps, challenge the exercises. Now instead of doing three to five, uh, four to five sets, you just did that for the last three, four weeks, five weeks, now let's bring it up to six, bring it up to seven, and then we're gonna deload a week down, take a little break and then repeat. That way, we're getting stronger, we're building a nice base so that when we go back in the gym, we could be specific to the workouts that we wanna do for our sport, just, you know, to get stronger, you, you want a bigger bench press, uh, whatever you guys, your goal is, this is a simple way to get everything in while you're at home and not to work out for a shit ton of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's your boy, that's exact punch, headbutt, elbow, me. Nee.